Okay, I'm going to show you how to go in and edit constraints um, so that if you're like, oh, I messed up, how do I fix that? Um, so the first thing to note is that if you, you know, closed your browser and you're opening this back up to work on it, you need to once again, right click, edit this sketch. Um, otherwise, nothing's going to work. Um, and so when I hover over these lines, I'm getting this icon here. And that is a perpendicular constraint. If I click on it, I can delete it. And now these guys can be moved freely and I can try to fix them because they're supposed to be collinear to each other. So I can click the two lines and now they're collinear. If I hit Control Z and do it, um, I did determine that if I use the endpoints, they're gonna touch. So again, if that's like the wrong constraint, I'm gonna hit Escape to drop my constraint tool, hover over them. There's that little bugger. I don't want him. Hit delete on my keyboard. Now this guy can be moved. I can go get the correct constraint, or I guess like same constraint tool, but I can uh, apply it correctly. Yay. Um, so what most people did, and I just hit escape, and move over, is um, they accidentally locked all of these guys into like one position. Um, if you're ever trying to just have all the constraints show up at once, because like scrolling around and trying to find them is annoying. In the edit sketch, like floating panel here, you can click show constraints um, and they'll all show up at once. And the one that I want to delete is any instance of this one that looks like an angled T um, that is related to the middle point here. So I'm going to click that one and hit delete, that one and hit delete, that one and hit delete. Um, and then I'm going to start drag. Oh, nope. I'm going to hit control Z because I started resizing something. Let me hit escape. Let me grab an edge. Oh, I'm resizing. All right. Well, what I'm trying to do is move these objects. So if I move center point, does that work better? So let's see who's free. This guy's free. This guy, why won't they play with me? I hit escape. All right, got my rectangle away. It's a little bit slow and laggy, a little bit frustrating. I'm waiting for my computer to cooperate. No, no, why'd you move? Don't move, don't move, just stay there. Okay, well, now that they're basically all separated, let's see if I can move this guy over. All right, awesome. Um, so yeah, it's a little frustrating, it's a little slow, um, it's a little finicky, but if you hover over a constraint and delete it, then you know you can move things back away and then put them back in the correct spot. Um, one thing to be aware of is when I was first testing this, I accidentally deleted the constraints here for this rectangle, and then when I moved him, he wasn't a rectangle anymore. Um, so be a little careful, but we're not doing anything that's you know critical, you're not gonna destroy like a jet engine or something if you mess up your practice activities this week. So try not to stress about it. If you're freaking out, just take a break, do something else, um, and then try it, you know, five minutes at a time until it doesn't stress you out. Or just move them and make a snowman. And then go watch Frozen 2 because it's on Disney Plus. Alright, peace out.